asked me what is non-duality, I go, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that's it. Because I am it. Because I know it. Because I am it. Because you asked me what is it, and I realized, I'm just sharing with you my process, you asked me what is it, and I say, oh shit, okay. Now I explain what it is, and I'm separated from, it requires that I explain something in a discursive way that doesn't convey. There's no conveyance. So anybody listening to this that thinks that you have an understanding of non-duality, that's part of the process, it's part of the path. But really what's going on is, that's the answer. To, to me, in my experience, talking about non-duality as this thing that you have in one moment, okay, and don't have now, is not attainment. It's not clear understanding, right? The non-dual realization is so simple, simple in that we see everything as a piece of, including the sense of separation, as a piece of the whole. It's that simple. So that's the attainment. Okay, so that doesn't mean that we can't have moments of connection, moments of realization, non-dual experience. And when there's the re-identification with the self, then there's the re-identification with Andrew. Okay, Andrew in the world with Patrick and Ed and a girlfriend down there and a schedule to get there and everything that comes with Andrew. And I'm not a good person and, and am I being liked? Am I making sense in this conversation? Am I being judged and how is it going and where will it go to and what will I get out of it? This whole thing is very complex, right? What we've done. But this identification, it's a fabulous um, pattern of the brain, of the mind. And it's working through memory. And, and there's a history. Patrick has history. Ed has a history. And the body's working it out. The brain is working it out. And what we can say, and this is instrumental to non-dual realization, is that the realization that even memory occurs spontaneously now. There's no actual line going from me and what's happening now to my relationship with my girlfriend who's over there or how well is this going to go this conversation for later or what did i do yesterday there's no actual line it's manifesting spontaneously now and just think about we talk about non-dual realization think about how delicious absolutely delicious it is to feel that there's just clear open space right now potential and it's experienced as light and it's beaming from and through everything. And you, you, this is what we're all experiencing all the time. We just, it's right there, it's right there and, and it will come. You don't have to worry about it coming because it's already the way it is. But practically speaking, the more still we become, the more present, the more still, the more silent internally we become, the more we can spontaneously experience the thoughts arising out of and as this emptiness. And then, what are the implications for your ability to walk up to somebody? What are the implications for the feeling that what I just said that made no sense, and I'm being looked at like, oh, you're weird, doesn't matter. It's already gone. We have much more access point to the letting go process because we're experiencing ourselves as space, right? And this is what our practice specifically is about experiencing space, experiencing the internal space of the body and the external space of the body as the same continuous space. Thank you so much for checking that out. If you want to learn how to be great with people of all kinds and great with connecting with women, check out our workshops. we got lots coming up at travelbumcoaching.com. Check it out.